Hi, everyone. I'm Leah, and I'm the product manager on the editor team focusing on the search and navigation space. And what I want to talk to you about today is find and files, which I know is a very commonly used tool among a lot of developers in Visual Studio. But there are some options that we see not a lot of people have been really using too much or don't have a lot of familiarity with. So I want to dive into some details to make sure that you have access to all the ways that you can manage your results effectively and also get to the exact set of results that you want to find. So the find and files window, as many of you know, you open with control shift F. In this window, there's a lot of different options that you may be familiar with for just adjusting the set of results that you get. And the file type option here that I want to show you today by default excludes any files from the bin folder, the object folder, as well as any hidden files and directories. But you can also add more to this regular expression or edit it as you like to remove any of these exclusions as well so that you are getting to the right sets of files that you actually want in your results list. So for example, if I wanted to say I want that I don't want to include any C sharp generated files from my results list, maybe because they're things that are generated at build and I don't really need to touch or edit them at all, then I could add semicolon to separate it from these other ones, then exclamation.g.cs. And any files of that type will now be excluded from the find and file search that I do. So that's one way to really exclude results from my results list. But another way to really manage what is actually being searched for is by using regular expressions in the main query box at the top of the window here. So in the find box underneath it, I have this use regular expressions checkbox that I'm going to check. And when I check it, I also get this really helpful button on the right side called the find expression builder, which when you click it open, you'll see a lot of the different syntax for using regular expressions in Visual Studio. So if you ever forget how to build an expression in here, you can go through here and find what's the right thing to put into the search query. And uh, let me show you an example of using the regular expressions here in search. So in this solution, I have the uh, code base that essentially builds a shopping website. And one thing that I might want to edit is the catalog. Maybe I need to change the name or there's some refactoring I might to do with it. So I'm going to search for a catalog brand. But I know that in this solution, there's other forms of this name as well. And I'd rather get them all in one list together, which is why I'm using the regular expressions here. And I know that there are versions where it's just the full term like this. There's also versions where there's a hyphen in between. And to make sure that I get these both in the list, I'm going to use the question mark here, which you see in this library of regular expressions from before, it matches the preceding character zero more times. So it's essentially saying finding everything that is, matches catalog brand or matches catalog brand with a hyphen in it. So when I do a find all with that now, let me expand this open so you can see better. You'll see all the matches to catalog brand as the full string. And if I scroll further down, you'll also see matches with catalog hyphen brand as well. So that's one way to make sure that you're getting all the results you need. But after you've painstakingly crafted a regular expression, then fine uh, tuned it to exactly what you need, you probably don't want to lose the set of results when you want to move on to the next one, because maybe you'll need to come back and work on this again. So one way that I can do that is by using the keep results button that's in the results window. So what this essentially does is a, a lock in this window so that these results will stay open for me in this session of Visual Studio. And any search that I do after that will go into a completely new window. So when I do Control Shift F now, and let's say that I need to edit the items related to catalog item now, I do a find all here you'll see that I get a new find results window open separately from the one I had before, which I can also keep the results for. And I can repeat this up to five windows for how many result windows I can have and manage at the same time here. And that's an overview of some of the interesting features in find and files that you might not know about. 
So just to recap what those were, there's the file types option that you can use regular expressions and to narrow down to what types of files are included in the results. There's the regular expressions in the main search query that you can use to say a specifically what sorts of things you want to include or exclude in your search query and also keep results, which will let you manage multiple sets of results uh, across the solution. If you want to learn more about finding files, we have a link in the description to the documentation page that details all of the different options that are available in finding files. So I hope that helps you make sure you see all of the search results that you need. And that's all I have for today.